concept of natural law or philosophy of natural law, there are seven hermetic principles that we've built all of our science on, believe it or not. Um, although it's really funny that many scientists don't know these laws, which is really strange to me. <laughs> but uh, they go, they are as follows. Um, number one is uh, as above, so below, which is the law known as the law of materialism, which I already talked about there. The macrocosm and the microcosm are actually governed with the exact same universal principles, no matter what the size. Number two, the second hermetic principle is uh, the principle of correspondence, which is, without going into detail, is about how the macrocosm and the microcosm communicate with each other or correspond to each other through a process called correspondence, also known as mediumship. Everything is nestled with inside of everything else. Everything is interconnected. Number three is the principle of vibration. So when we detect whatever we're detecting, whether it be solid material or, um, or something ethereal, our detection mechanism is actually done through vibration, whether we realize it or not. So we have the physical manifestation of vibration, which we would, we would call material, but vibration also goes into um, the mental aspect and the emotional aspect. So energy throughout the cosmos is constantly in a state of vibration. The fourth principle is polarity, which is the one we're most trapped in. This is also known as duality, which, which shows that everything that we come across or everything that we sense is defined in terms of its opposite. So um, the great philosopher Hegel has this well-known concept called the Hegelian dialectic, which basically is built on this principle is that light is only known or defined by darkness and vice versa. Up is only known based on its polarity to down and um, inside and outside and uh, left and right and uh, macrocosm and microcosm. So the, the, the principle of polarity or duality is the one that we are just interwoven in and, and uh, are always working to transcend. And then the fifth, the fifth, fifth principle is rhythm which means that all of these principles working together, once you understand them all, they actually are all ordered into a harmony or a rhythm. So when we experience dissonance in our life, uh, it's because we've actually lost awareness or lost being in tune with the natural rhythm of these natural laws. It's a song and we have to dance with it. The sixth hermetic principle is cause and effect, which sort of interweaves with the seventh, which is, which is gender for generation. And the idea of cause and effect is, is the way that, that polarity, the previous principle, uh, moves from one end of the pole across the pole to the other end of the pole. So it's, it's how, say, light moves into darkness or vice versa, or how um, up moves into down or how hot moves into cold. There's a a principle that's embedded into this, which is relativity. So, you know, hot is only cold. Hot is only hot based on its relative temperature to cold and so on. And then this speaks of the final one, which is gender. And this whole process of movement, vibration, uh, polarity, cause and effect, uh, all move. And that process is called gender, which is where we get generation. So male, female energies constantly marrying and mating with each other to create a constant perpetual motion of manifestation or growth.